Hi, Plinkin Preacher. I'm <clears throat> just adding this uh, little snippet here as a preface to my videos on Facebook. I mean, excuse me, on YouTube. Um, what I've discovered, do, I've done some research, done a lot of soul searching and praying and thinking about this, but I think I need to get away from YouTube. Um, I realize I have more subscribers on YouTube than on Rumble, um, but I found out that YouTube is a very invasive uh, environment. Uh, they track everything you do. They uh, censor things. They adjust your searches uh, the way they want them to be done. And uh, Rumble is just not that way. Rumble's uh, freely open. Um, they don't track anything. They don't sell your information like, like uh, YouTube does. Uh, so anyway, as of the end of April, I won't be publishing my videos on YouTube anymore. They'll just be on Rumble. And then as of the end of May, I'll be shutting down the channel altogether. So if you're watching on YouTube and you uh, are subscribed on YouTube, I would ask you to go over to Rumble and subscribe there on Rumble. I'll put a, a link in the uh, description that will take you to that to my site on Rumble. Um, you probably will have to give them a little information, but they don't sell it. You know, it's not, it, your information is safe there. And <clears throat> just encourage you to do that and to follow me there. Uh, whether you decide to do that or not is, is up to you. Um, I realize I might lose a lot of, a lot of, a lot of watchers, but that's, that's just the way I, it is. I just need to do this. So anyway, I'll continue to, publish on both platforms until the end of April, then it will only be Rumble, and at the end of May, I'll be shutting down the, the YouTube channel. Thanks for all your support and for watching. Hi, Plinky Preacher here. Um, got my classic, or excuse me, my ultimate turret press here. Been using it, it's, it works really well. Um, had a couple questions about it and a couple things I, I've experimented with and thought I would just do a short video and uh, give a little, some tips and uh, helps maybe, uh, fixes for some of these things. I've already mentioned some, but with this uh, bullet feeder magazine, you get two sets of tubes. These tubes will fit 35 caliber. You get another set of tubes that are yellow. They have the same outside diameter, same on the outside, so they will fit into this, under these two ends. However, the inner diameter is less. The, the wall of the tube is thicker. And I experimented with these a little bit because I was trying to figure out what they were for. And it turns out that 30 caliber bullets will fit through these. So I think what, what they've done is they've given, they've given a set of tubes for 35 caliber, the clear ones, and a set of tubes for 30 caliber, the yellow ones, um, so that if I had a 30 caliber feeding die, this is a 35, if I had a 30 caliber feeding die, then I could use this same, this same, these same ends with the yellow tubes and put it into the 30 caliber feeding, feeding die and feed 30 caliber bullets. There was another piece that came with it and someone asked me in their comments what this was all about. If I Maybe knew what this is for one. another one of Lee, Lee Presses, I don't know. But these definitely, definitely are to use with these same ends for a 30 caliber bullet feeding die. So that's what that's all about. The other thing I wanted to uh, mention I, I mentioned it before, I've got the large, the large primer feed on here right now. And I, I already mentioned in my previous video that the small primer feed uh, threw about 80% uh, of the primers on the floor uh, didn't work. And I mentioned there was a fix and I, I even referenced a, a video on it. And I thought I would just show you how that fix is done um, I'm going to do that with this. First of all, I'm going to take this um, top off. Then the way to do this is you've got a little button here on this side, you can see. And you have to push that in. 
at the same time as you pull the whole trigger assembly back. Might have to get something. Okay, we've got this small in, yeah. screwdriver, and if you push that, that little uh, little button in, and then pull the trigger oh, assembly to back. Up. Okay. Now, when you pull this back, this lifts up, and you see you've got this little uh, these little wings here, this little arm. And that's, that's the thing that needs to be adjusted, um, this right here. And that just, you see there's a, it has a, it's on a little spindle that goes between the pieces there. So you just got to pop that out, get that out like that. Whoops, there it is. And then if you find a quarter inch bolt, and I think I got one right here, you put that in between there. like that that's the quarter inch bolt and now if you take this and drop it into a cup of hot boy a uh, boiling water not just hot but boiling water and let it sit for five minutes then pull it out um, let it cool with the bolt in place and what that will do is permanently adjust this little piece so that it is spread and it has more tension. Basically, that's all it is. Then when you put it together, that's gonna have more tension on it to hold the primers better and you won't be spilling them all over the floor. I already did this with the small one. I'm gonna take this up to the kitchen right now and drop it in some boiling water and I'll, I'll follow through with this after it cools down and show Okay, so I just pulled this out of the boiling water, had it in this cup and um, I'm gonna let it cool <clears throat> with the bolt in, in place. And then once it's cool, I'll put this trigger back together and uh, test it out. I've got some large primers. I'll test it out and see if it works better. <laughs> and not, because I was dropping them. At, not as bad as the small primer uh, feeder was, but still dropping probably 50% of them. Um, so hopefully this will fix that one like it fixed the small primer. You have to be careful when you take this apart. There's this little spring here part of the trigger you don't want to lose that um, just kind of pull that top off and pull it the, the uh, whatever this is called <laughs> out and uh, leave the rest of it together so you're not losing anything as um, soon as this cools I'll come back and I'll put okay this is cool this and you can see it's changed the heating it up remolded this to make this gap wider which is what you need apparently to make this work better I don't know why Lee didn't make it that way in the beginning so to put this back together, you have to insert this into this piece. And you notice there are two holes, one on this side, one on that, and one is a little bit smaller than the other. And if you look at this piece, uh, get it in the camera there, right there. This end is a little bit narrower, this knob, than that one. So the narrow piece, narrower piece has to go in the narrower hole, obviously, the smaller hole. And then you just kind of pop it in there so that the other piece goes in the other hole and it should be hanging just like that okay <clears throat> now this this long end here there's a little notch in there if you can see it the dark spot that long end is going to go into that notch as you slide this on Okay, we're going to try this again. This long end right here is going to go into that notch like that. See how that fits right in there? And then you're going to bend this trigger down and get it to go on over there. And this other piece, this other button that you had to push in the beginning to get it <clears throat> apart has to go in. This has to go over, and basically you have to get it to right, snap again. on there. Get that in there, slide that whole thing up over and there. 
you just got to kind of play with it. But that's that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, now I'm going to put it back on the press with some with some uh, primers in it just to see how it works. Okay, I'll be so back. I put about a dozen primers in there just to test this out. And then we're going to put this back on. There's a couple little wings on the back there that have to kind of go up in there. That snaps that on. I've got it locked right now. So if I click it to on, then the primers will go down into the feed tube. So I'll do that and just kind of rock it back and forth and we can get them all loaded down into the tube. Put that on the press. I've got my large... So what I'm gonna do is pull it up to the top of the stroke, try to feed a primer on. Okay, primer went on fine. I'm just gonna dump these out because I haven't got any, any uh, cases to actually put them in. I just wanna test it out. It is taking a couple of tries each time, but nothing's gone, gone on the floor yet. That's a good thing, good sign. <laughs> That's what we're after, just like the other one. And by the time I get done loading another 50, uh, with a small primer feed, I got so I could get it pretty consistently working and it, it would put a primer on every time. If you remember, if you watch my video, uh, they weren't dropping on the floor, but I wasn't getting one to set every time either time either. So it's just a matter of getting the right technique down. Again, nothing's gone on the floor yet. So I think, I think this is going to work just like it did with the small primer feed. They're going on there fine Oops, each time. I just dropped one. First one. And I think that was my, that was operator error, I believe. <laughs> I didn't get that going on straight. Yeah. So I dropped one, but I think that was my fault. Not the fault of the equipment. Yeah, that's working every time now. Must be just about out of primers here. So anyway, that's the fix for that. Uh, these things, I don't think I will ever buy a 30 caliber die. I don't lo load enough to bother to use this press for it, but I have them just in case. And uh, whatever this piece is, um, the bullet feeder die is works excellent. And I think the primer with that fix is going to work fine too. Um, still a little bit of issues with the with the um, drum powder measure. I with that fine Win two thirty one, I was getting some leakage, so I've tightened that up, and I'll try it again and see. There's also a fix somewhere. I saw a video about taking those drums, which are really rough, and smoothing them up a little bit and making a better. Uh, keeping it from leaking powder so much. So maybe I'll try that in the future. Anyway, I'm the Plinkin Preacher. I appreciate you watching. Remember, God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind.